In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your channel layout with the new YouTube Studio. By reworking your channel layout, when people click through to see your account on YouTube, you can help guide them to where you want them to go or where they or what they might be more interested in. And so by doing that, you're actually going to get more views on your videos, which is probably something that you want. Hey, Chamber Pros. I know a lot of us really want our first 100 subscribers on YouTube. However, we probably need some more bite-sized actionable tips to get there. So how do we do that? Well, that's what this video series is all about. So I'm already logged in, and if you aren't, you would click on your probably your photo or logo in that top right hand corner and go to switch account. If you need to, you can add an account to log in with your chamber, and you would log in with your Google account. So then I'm just going to click customize channel. And then now with YouTube Studio, it takes you to this page, which is fine. So it actually lets you choose two channel trailers, which whenever you visit a YouTube channel, it's gonna be this top video. You can choose a specific people video for people who haven't subscribed and people who have. So what I've done is I have a video that is more about the chamber. It's more of like a promotional video. So if you have one of those, that's what I've chosen. And then for returning subscribers, I've actually done the first video of my member orientation. Next for featured sections, for the most part, these are playlists that I have created. You would just click on add section, and for me, I've chosen single playlist, and then you choose one of your playlists, and it will show that playlist on all the videos in it. For created playlist, it would actually show the different playlists you've created, which could also be very interesting, so kind of help let them choose their own path, as well as multiple playlists. So these are very similar, but with multiple playlists, you would, you would pre-select which playlist, and it shows the name of the playlist, not just the videos in it. If you're doing a lot of live, there are three options for those. We're currently live, past, and then upcoming. Short videos is interesting, that's that's different. And then I'm currently using uploads, but I'm actually gonna change it to popular uploads. So I'm gonna get rid of my uploads, which would be the ones, this is showing them chronologically, but by choosing popular uploads, I'm trying to help increase those conversions of, I'm showing videos that are already popular, so maybe that the people coming to my channel are gonna be more interested in those as well. And then you can reorder by hovering over these lines on the side, and then you just click and drag, and then you drop it where you want it to go in order. And then I like to hit publish in case I forget what I was doing. And then next is branding. So your profile picture should be obvious. I use a logo. You can also check out my video for how to make your logo fit in a square. Banner image is actually surprisingly challenging. If you look at their example, trying to choose a banner, and they give you the size at least, which is nice, that will show across all these different platforms, probably expect part of your image to be cut off. So what I've done for mine is basically pretty pictures and my logo. But if you have a specific call to action you really want people on YouTube to take, this is actually a great place to advertise it. And then video watermark I haven't done. And I'm actually going to recommend this video by Tips with Trina. She does have a watermark in this video, but she's made it a call to action, which is really smart. So she hasn't done just a logo. She's made it a call to action for viewers who might be able to instinctively know that's a subscribe button. And so when they, we hover over it, it actually has that pop up for us to subscribe. So that is a really smart way to use that. And then basic info is going to show up underneath your about. And I'm actually going to cover this in a separate video. So stay tuned. So if that was useful for you, do me a favor and hit that like button so I know. Or if it wasn't, leave a comment. Let me know why. Or let me know what you still have questions about. I really want to put out stuff that helps you specifically. My goal is to help you grow your chamber so you can focus on growing your impact in your community.